there's something I love aside from stickers, it is greeting cards. I love having an occasion to send someone a card, whether it's their birthday, whether it's a get well card, whether it's I'm gonna miss you, congratulations on your job promotion, whatever it is, I love buying greeting cards. And I also like making them, but lately, but I'm too much of a perfectionist, so if I mess up just the tiniest bit, then I wanna scrap the whole thing. So I recently ordered some really beautiful cards from Rifle Paper Co. I have done, I think, a haul from them in the past. This is purchased with my own money. I just really like cute stationery cards. Like I just, I really, I I enjoy their products. I think they have a lot of really nice prints and stuff like that. I have their notebooks, I have their pens, I have some coasters. I have a lot of things from them. So today we're doing a haul. I know these types of videos tend to get the least amount of views and I get it. Not everyone's interested in like stickers or stationery or planners. Um, but if you're someone who likes really cute birthday cards or good luck cards or Mother's Day cards, happy birthday cards, that type of thing, then just keep on watching because I sure love them. All right, so this is the sleeve that all the cards came in. This is from Rifle Paper Co. I'm super excited. I'm gonna start off with some wedding ones that I picked up. Why did I buy myself wedding cards? I don't know. Maybe because they're just so freaking cute. Um, technically, I should be receiving the wedding cards for my wedding, but I bought one for myself. I don't care. So this is like a die cut one shaped like a book, and it says, and they lived happily ever after. So you would be writing in the card on the back. I feel like Rifle Paper Co. should be a little bit more specific when it comes to these types of cards because I have purchased Christmas cards shaped similarly to this and the description doesn't really say that there's no um, like lifting up of the card or something. Do you know what I mean? Am I making sense here? Anyway, this card is absolutely beautiful. The way the light hits the lettering is nice. Um, the envelope is nice. It's just a really beautiful card. I just, I really love it. <laughs> The next one is my favorite. I had my eye on this one for so long. So I'm going to take it out of the packaging. I also really like the envelope. I think it's a very luxurious feeling envelope. It's very shiny. Um, this one is a jackpot machine and it says I hit the jackpot with you and it has a bunch of hearts. It is a blank card. So this was featured in their friendship slash love section so I was gonna pick this up for a friend but my fiance says this comes across a little romantic but I feel like I hit the jackpot with you in terms of like a friendship like my friendship with you is amazing that's kind of how I was viewing this card but now he has put um like doubt in my mind about it let me know how you feel about this would you give this to a friend I think it's pretty cute um I don't know what I'm going to do with it if I don't give it to a friend because my fiance's already seen this so I don't want to give it to him when he knows that I wasn't originally planning on giving it to him, but yeah, it's a really cute card. The detailing, the artwork, I just think it's adorable. I feel like Rifle Paper Co., that's a mouthful to say, by the way, but I feel like their stationary cards are just some of the best because they're so unique and thoughtful. I just love stationary cards. The next one I have is a good luck one. So this might be going to my friend who is leaving the job for bigger and better things. And I saw this and I thought she might like it. Same envelope as the other one, very cool, like golden material. So this card features a heart, a four leaf clover, an elephant, a wishbone, a horseshoe thing, um, a die, and a koi, is that a goldfish or a koi fish? I think that's a goldfish. A goldfish lucky? All right, whatever, I don't know. This is really cute though, again, it is blank, which works really nicely because you could just tailor it to your own personal occasion. I really like this, crossing the fingers. I think it's a cute card. There's a ladybug, are ladybugs looking? Whatever, I don't know, but it's really nice. I like it. Again, it has that really pretty reflective detailing to it. So it's a definite contender for my friend. By the time you see this video, I'll already know what I got her or which one I chose, but okay, so. This one's also really beautiful. The reflective artwork is just, I think it's really unique. It says your future looks bright and I love the coloring. I love the choice in um, font. And again, it's blank. Your future looks bright. I think this is a cute card. I think it's special. I really like it. Last but not least, I got something for my mom. So this would be a good Mother's Day card or even a good happy birthday card. It's a certificate. So just like the first card, it doesn't open up or anything. It's just like a die cut 
card. Um, it says here, you've been deemed world greatest mom. And then it says four, so you write the person's name. With lots of love, whatever. And there's a seal of excellence. This is adorable. I think this is so cute. I think my mom's really going to love it. Um, so yes, I did pick this up for my mom. Her birthday's August 24th, so I plan ahead, especially with COVID times um, and with shipping taking as long as it is lately. It's always better to just order things way in advance. So the second my friend told me she was leaving, I like jumped online and I bought all these things um, because you never know. And it, it doesn't hurt to have extra. So like whatever she doesn't get, someone else will get eventually down the line. Like I have a whole like stack of stationary cards for any occasion just in case. But yes, this is beautiful. So that is all the cards I picked up from Rifle Paper Co. Uh, yeah, gotta check one more time. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, I really, really appreciate it. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. Don't worry, like 100% understand. But um, yeah, I really like these. Like this makes me really happy. Do you send old fashioned letters? Do you use snail mail? Like let me know how you feel down below. I would love to find out my enthusiasm. Um, but yes, I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.